Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a progress update of the Righteous Fire Juggernaut. So we are level 79. Uh, have, oops, have not died yet on the character. I'm sure that's absolutely going to happen later. And I'm going to go ahead and jump into a quick tier 5 map since this is kind of what I'm doing. Although I did just realize this is Monster Steel Charges and we don't run that mod. So let's re-roll it. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, also, in this map, I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you guys a little example of what I do with Betrayal for some early gearing. Uh, and then we're also going to jump into the League mechanic and do that a little bit as well, since I know a lot of people are probably going to ask about it. Um, oh, do I have a laggy instance or am I good? Oh, I'm good. Also, just realized I did not turn on my VPN, so I don't know if I can actually do the League mechanic, but I will try. So, so far, everything has been pretty smooth on the character. Uh, I mean, I'm just running on a four link righteous fire. I did get a lucky pyre drop uh, So that's like uh, 74 burning and then I do also have a plus one fire with burning and increase got really lucky on an identification scroll uh, So far I've also been thinking that I potentially might even want to go with manual cursing i think it's actually totally fine so if you drop the frost blink setup and you just run a regular frost blink and then you just do like life tap flammability it honestly doesn't feel that bad for now i may change it later but yeah uh right so i'm just gonna go do one room because like i said i don't have my vpn right now and i really hope it doesn't fuck up so here we go uh we're just gonna go ahead and go to the fountain i do believe i'm on right i'm already on floor two and as you can tell I've got a lot of debuffs, so RF is honestly doing okay right now in the League Mechanic. Um, honestly, the League Mechanic comes down more to knowledge and skill more than anything, I feel. So, you know, if you're aware of kind of what to do and you have a good idea of the monsters, it's not really too bad. Right, so this is find the exit. You know, all you literally have to do is find the exit. I do think that there is one thing I don't really like, and that is essentially... The Juggernaut Ascendancy Unyielding, which I typically pick all the time for mapping, kind of feels scuffed because it's all about generating endurance charges when you get hit and getting damage. So for people who want to focus more on the lead mechanic, I would not go Unyielding, and I would definitely go Unstoppable instead. And I think that will make the lead mechanic feel a lot better in general. End of the floor! Yo, let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, that was easy. All right. Yeah, so you basically get multiple floors. You have ones where you need to kill, like, uh, kill the guards. You have ones where you have to, like, find the exit. You have ones where you have to, like, uh, I don't really remember the other one, to be honest. Right, so in an instance of what we're going to do here with Betrayal, so I am going to interrogate Verici to build up some intervention intelligence. And then with Haku, I am going to bargain for some loot. Okay, and real fast, let's take a look at what we got. So gloves have prefix. Prefix could be plus two area gems, so that could be a pseudo four link or five link, I guess, but we did not get it. Okay, uh, shield. I don't really think I'm getting anything on the shield, but let's just see what we have. I mean, curse effect at this point in POE is actually not bad, so we'll take curse effect. I don't think I'm going to use it, though, but yeah. And then here we just have something useless, so I'll just pick that. I don't really care. Right, okay. Uh, the trick is bargaining. Bargaining always happens, to my knowledge, on the last person. And that is essentially what gives you, usually, the bulk of drops. Uh, and I'll pop up my Atlas here in just a second. If you notice I'm taking a lot of damage, that's because we don't have our Unbreakable Ascendancy yet. So we're still running on without this. This is essentially what makes us a Juggernaut. Right, so Elrion and Chimera. Uh, I don't really know who, let's see, I don't really care here. Chimera becomes leader of research. So if I betray... I don't know if I betray if I lose Elrion. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So then here we'll just bargain. And he dropped a ring. Okay. And it is a prefix. So Elrion's prefix is what? The uh, minus monocost, I think it is. Yeah, this one, I think. Could be wrong. Doesn't really help us, though. Uh, we'll just take this. And I think we have one more encounter, so we'll go do that. Hey, level up. 
I don't know where we're going yet. I'll have to look a little bit. Yo, achievement server, can you stop spamming me, please? I would really appreciate it. Thanks. I need to get some chaos resist right now as well. I would say that's like the biggest uh, chase at the moment. Getting chaos red. Hey, a rise of the phoenix. Well, shit, that's a nice drop. <laughs> that's a. Let's see. Oh, of course I'd rolled near minimum life regen on it, but hey, it's still probably way better than this shield. So that's a pretty nice find. We'll have to go slap that on. clearing the map. So remove all rivalries you typically don't want because when you remove rivalries, they're less likely to pop up. So this is an instance where I will not do this and I will interrogate instead. Uh, suffix. Okay, so this could actually hit minimum frenzy. It hit minimum frenzy. So that is better than this because I can craft life on it and I now have frenzy charge generation. It is a shame about the uh, the base, but still, as an example, like that 42 dex probably also allows me to drop this dex node. So pretty nice to be honest. I know it looks like a really bad ring, but it's still better than what we have. Then I can always just vault it later to get a better implicit maybe. I'm not sure what implicits can roll on rings. And then later, I think people are saying Immortal Flesh is super cheap. I'll have to go pick one up for just a little bit. The only reason I don't have an Immortal Flesh right now is my belt essentially has 41% Chaos Res. And I'm if I'm going to die, it's to Chaos Damage right now, not anything else. All right, perfect. Oh, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show my gear. So this is my Flammability Frostblink Hextouch. Again, using a life tap with flammability honestly feels totally fine as well. You don't have to do my setup. I uh, just got a random ass helmet over here. I didn't realize it has a suffix opened, actually. That's great for Chaos Rose Craft. We got Infernal Cry, uh, Summon Stone Golem, life tap, and uh, the term. Uh, here's my amulet. Nothing really that crazy. It's actually good for Cold Dob, not for me. My shield. We've got Faster Attack, Shield Charge, and Life Tap over here. I've got a Pyre Ring. Got a four link over here. Uh, we've got burning damage, efficacy, elemental focus, righteous fire. Uh, you don't want to see this ring. Uh, right, my gloves. Uh, this is where we have our fire trap, trap and mine, life tap, and combustion. Uh, I've got uh, the belt you guys just saw, and then I've got these. Uh, mm, these are some scuffed ass boots. We need to get some new boots. So, yep, that's all I got here, which is what Skitterbot, Purity of Elements, Vitality, and Arrogance. And then later I'll also be playing a little bit of multiplayer. We're going to try it with a curse support, so that should be pretty fun. Anyway, though, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live almost every day at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.